what volume of hydrogen gas is produced when 5 grams of magnesium is added to 100 centimetres cubed of dilute hydrochloric acid concentration 2 mole per litre. The balanced equation is given. When we are given information about two reactants, we first must find out which one is in excess and which one is our limit. So the first thing we have to take down is from our balanced equation, our reactant. So we've got magnesium, which has a chemical symbol Mg, and then we've got two HCl, which is our hydrochloric acid. We then do the mole ratio, which is a one to two ratio. We need to calculate the actual number of moles of each substance. So for magnesium, we have been given a mass. So we're going to do N is equal to M over GFM. The number of moles is equal to 5 divided by 24.3 and that gives us an actual number of moles of 0 0.2. We do the same on the other side for the hydrochloric acid, but this time we're going to use N is equal to C times V. The concentration is 2 times by 0 0.1, which gives us an actual number of moles of 0 0.2. We then have to scale over. So we put the actual number of moles of magnesium underneath the mole ratio and then we're going to cross multiply. 2 times 0 0.2 divided by 1 gives 0 0.4. To work out which ones in limit or excess, we take the actual number of moles minus the theoretical. So the actual number of moles of hydrochloric acid we had was 0 0.2 minus the 0 0.4 we used to calculate the theoretical, which would give us a value of negative 0 0.2. And because we've got a negative number, this must be our limit. We prove this on the other side. If we do our 2 to 1 ratio, we don't have 2 moles of hydrochloric acid. We actually calculated that we've got 0 0.2. We then want to cross multiply. 1 times 0 0.2 divided by 2 gives us 0 0.1. We then want to do the actual minus the theoretical for the magnesium. So we do 0 0.2 minus 0 0.1, which gives us plus 0 0.1, which means that our magnesium is in excess. We then carry through our limits to the second step. The second part of the question wants us to calculate the volume of hydrogen, so we're going to be using molar volume. We then use the limit from the excess calculation to scale for our product. So we take down from the balanced equation our entities. We've got 2 HCl and we've got H2. We then do the mole ratio, which is 2 to 1. We need to then decide what unit we're working in. We'd already calculated the number of moles of our hydrochloric acid. So we do 1 mole times 2. And the question wants us to work in litres for our hydrogen, so we do 1 times 24 litres. When we calculate that out, that means that 2 moles of hydrochloric acid will produce 24 litres of hydrogen. We don't have 2 moles of hydrochloric acid. We calculated that we actually have 0 0.2 moles, and we cross-multiply. 24 times 0 0.2 divided by 2 gives us a total volume of 2.4 litres. This past paper question is from the higher 2019 multiple choice 15. Magnesium carbonate reacts with nitric acid and the balanced equation is given. 0 0.05 moles of magnesium carbonate was added to a solution containing 0 0.06 moles of nitric acid. Which of the following statements is true? Now because you've been getting information about both reactants, we have to calculate excess. So we take down our entities, magnesium carbonate and two nitric acids. We do our mole ratio, which is one to two. The actual number of moles of magnesium carbonate is given as 0 0.05 and the actual number of moles of my nitric acid is 0 0.06. We then need to cross multiply. We put the 0 0.05 underneath the magnesium carbonate and we do two times 0 0.05 divided by one equals 0 0.1. We then do the actual minus the theoretical, which is 0 0.06 minus 0 0.1, which gives us negative 0 0.04, which means our nitric acid is our limit. We prove on the other side by doing our ratio of 2 to 1. 
the actual number of moles of nitric acid that we've got is 0 0.06 and we then do our cross multiply. 1 times 0 0.06 divided by 2 gives us 0 0.03. We do the actual minus the theoretical, that's 0 0.05 minus 0 0.03 which gives us positive 0 0.02 which means the magnesium carbonate is in excess. If we look at the information given from the multiple choice, we can see that multiple choice C says the magnesium carbonate is in excess by 0.02 moles. So that is the correct answer.